Orthopaedics has come a long way and we already deliver a very good result for our patients. Uh, what we're seeing now is the uh, computing power and the machines and robots coming into the domain of the operating theatre. So up until now surgery has been an art and I think it's becoming more of a science with these tools for greater precision. Well, we're very cautious about introducing new technologies into living patients. So before you get anywhere near a human, uh, there's a whole lot of research that's done in the background. So a lot of materials work, um, a lot of laboratory testing for strength and performance of all the different mechanical components. And then when it finally comes time to introducing it into human subjects, and we're very careful. So the first patients would be patients that are chosen because maybe the other technology is not appropriate for them and they don't have another good solution. No two femora are the same. Every patient's different. Every patient moves differently. And you know the same patient actually changes over time as well. So the position of your pelvis might be uh, in a certain position that's at one age and then 10 or 15 years later it might have moved. Uh, we have to try to understand that patient's skeleton if we want to do the perfect hip replacement, for example. And we also have to understand how that'll change over their lifetime as chair of orthopaedics in the local health district. It's a huge uh, privilege for me. It gives me access to a whole lot of incredible people, um, amazing engineers and doctors and researchers. There's a lot of different ways of doing things in, in orthopaedics. But if we don't have good information, sometimes we don't know whether it's better to do A or B. And the only way we can really find out the answer to that is to do research is to study, group, study groups of patients where they are randomised to one group or the other. So I would encourage patients to participate in that because um, if we've got a randomised study going it's because we don't know which treatment is better. Uh, but it's very valuable information for us um, you know, for the future. So the exciting thing about the position I'm in now with an academic role in the local health district is that I'm supported to be able to do the research that actually gets the patients the best result possible. I mean, all of our intentions of all the clinicians and all the research is always about um, getting the best outcome for that patient. And it's great to be in a position where that's supported fully.